Hello again, this is Fingers with Dimension Touring, and for this uh, Dimension Tools video guide, we're going to be covering the offset calculator and copy and paste with distance offsets. Uh, one of the most common uses for the offset calculator is to find out how big a building block is to know how much we should offset it. Now you can see here, I'm on the offset calculator, that it really only works with primary building blocks, uh, with the exception of triangles and discs, and the floor tiles. Uh, we're not going to use any floor tiles for this, I'm going to just use normal building blocks. Now I can go ahead and I can manually select everything. Uh, I can look over here to s on the uh, yaw pitch and roll and I can see what my orientation is, so it's going to be the default. And as for the scale, it's at max scale, so I hit 12 and I hit calculate and that tells me which how much I want to offset in any direction to know uh, where I should place the next block like we'll just go ahead and put 9 in here I want to go with the blue arrow and since I'm going with the direction of it it's a plus I'm going to use new items and copy and paste oh no now if I decide I wanted to go the other way, I can just change that to a minus and hit paste again without having to recopy. Now I don't have to um, I don't have to manually input everything. For instance, this plank, I want an, it's an odd size. I don't want to manually input everything, so I selected it and then I hit detect and as you can see it catches the correct scale it has the correct orientation and it has the correct type. Now it's still showing the offsets for the rectangle so all I have to do is press detect. And now I know that if I want to set in a second identical plank all I have to do is push in that offset and hit copy and paste and it placed it perfectly. Now one of the most, another common application for the offset calculator is to use it to find the distance between two points. I know that the rectangle that I'm on is 13.5 running with the, the X, that's the red arrow. But what about these two little tiles that I have on here? They're not on, going to be on that. So if I select them, I hit detect, now you see my orientation changed to selection delta and the planks and the scale didn't change at all. And that's because once you have multiple items de detected, it doesn't recognize the scale or the orientation. So I hit calculate and it tells me that between them I'm 11.884 between the intersect points on both tiles. Not necessarily this edge to this edge. Detect, calculate. So now if I want to try to get them, say, relatively centered, I can put in a distance offset of 4 because they're roughly 12 apart. Say I want to put three blocks in the middle of them, I can hit copy and paste. Now you could actually go ahead and just do the math, but like this it's going to be pretty much easier anyways and then the second one ended up being right the last one ended up being right on top of here so look at that I just saved an item even and then if I want to say uh, put something else in the center of that I don't want it to be that big Okay, say four and three. And the only one that's not going to be exactly centered on is going to be this last one because it wasn't exactly 12 uh, between this point and this point. But this one here is easy enough to just fix, slide it over until it looks centered, or do another copy and paste with the reset on the size and then I'm good to go here. Of course, you can use the offset calculator 
uh, however you want to. Remember, every time I do these guides, this is, might be how I do it. Not necessarily the way you do it. I, you do what's comfortable for you. So now we're going to do the same thing that we did with the, uh, the tiles. But we're going to do it here for a custom pivot. I pulled out my dome because I'm getting ready to reuse it in the actual build. So I brought in this one. Uh, this is a trophy item from uh, Storm Legion Expert Artifact Sets. And it is not normally straight up and down. I made a set that places it mostly straight up and down. But at any rate, I want to make a body for it, and I'm going to use limestone planks to do it. So I'm going to detect and calculate. Okay, so 16, that means here I want to offset 8 because I want to try to get close to the middle. Now I could do the math to break that 16.1594 down to 8.0 whatever it is, but we're just going to kind of eyeball it and do it that way. So I'm going to copy that plank and I'm going to use the corner post, paste it. I need to reset the rotation. And I'm going to put it there. And now we're going to use the custom pivot piece. I'm going to pick my corner post. I'm going to copy the planks. Now, for my rotation, let's try 10 and 36, because remember we want it to equal out to 360. We'll go ahead and pull those, because we're going to make a full circle. And then paste. And we'll see how that turns out. So as you can see, I'm a bit off-center. But as far as the overlap goes, the overlap is really good. And so then all I have to do is just move this into position to where it's mostly centered off of this and do a little bit of tinkering to actually make the body. Oh. That's kind of crazy. And that is how to use the offset calculator, especially in conjunction with uh, custom pivot when making round bodies or even square bodies for things like this. Let me pull all this stuff out. And that covers the offset calculator, which is a really underused function, but one that's also very handy, especially for when it comes to trying to figure out distance offsets. And that will conclude this portion of the videos for copy and paste. Uh, so until next time, Happy building.